Welcome to Christ the Servant Catholic Faith Community. Let us remember that we are in the presence of God. Hear the word of God and act on it. Live God's justice in the world. Humility and sincerity are the marks of Christians, not hypocrisy. Yet there are occasions when we fall short on this call, when we need to recommit ourselves to observing God's commandment of love. May our hearts draw near to God as we enter into this liturgy of praise and thanksgiving. Good morning. We begin with the sign of faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare for the gift of Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness and his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Our first reading today is a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, 
You shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will give you evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear all of these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what a great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord, our God, is to us whenever we call upon him. Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. against the innocent, such a one shall never be shaken. One who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Our second reading today is a reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly we welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. 
Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come from within are what defile. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. As we listen to those scriptures, we're reminded how sometimes we get caught up in the nitty gritty of detail, and we forget the bigger picture for which we are in this kingdom. God fashioned and molded each one of us to be a unique disciple of his, bringing his words and his actions alive to the people around us. Each time we gather at Eucharist, we receive that Jesus, body, soul, and divinity. And he stays with us in everything that we are and everything that we do. And so it's important for you and for me to remember that the presence of Christ is always with us. Don't get caught up in the little nitty gritty details. Remember those days in the pre-Vatican II when women would not go to mass or come into the church without something on their head? One of the silliest things I remember is my mother, every time we went to church, if she didn't have her, her little thing to put on her head, she'd pull out a Kleenex from her purse and she'd put it on her head because that's what she was supposed to do. And I thought, how silly is that? How silly is that? And, and sometimes, you know, we just get caught up in those little things. Remember that we have to look at the big picture. Jesus Christ wants us to be part of the gift of salvation bringing good news to the people around us. Don't worry so much about what's outside. Worry about what's inside. What you think about people, how you feel about people, how you serve people. And the willingness that our, our will has to be the will of God is what's important. Take time today to check on the will of God for you and then live that will as his disciple. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We take time to place our needs in the hands of a loving God. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer to the intercessions. That the words of God's justice we speak as the church match with our actions on behalf of justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the government leaders, legislators, and all public servants follow through on the words that they speak. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That all holding on to grudges and hate seek forgiveness and receive God's mercy. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That those choosing to act out of arrogance and self-importance know the gift of humility in Jesus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who dedicate their lives to church ministries, live forever in God's presence. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring physical, emotional, spiritual pain, may they feel God's closeness and healing. We especially remember Father Bob Chap, Deborah Darrow Tuggle, Jean Duran, and for those who have died, especially Debbie Zitzer, may they share in the fullness of eternal life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our needs and concerns held in the silence of our hearts, and for those written in the book of petitions in the Eucharistic Chapel, including Richard Peslack, James Fleming, Jessica Marshall, the John Frail family, Anna Lee, and Tom Peck, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer.
loving and most wonderful God, we ask you to hear all of our petitions, all of our prayers, those we've spoken and those that are quiet in our hearts. Fill us this day with blessing and grace that we might go forward and be that disciple you need us to be. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my dear friends, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so with confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit and let us share that peace with those around us And this is Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Today we take time to bless our students and teachers at the beginning of a new school year. Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth and teaches us by your ways. Look upon the students, let them enjoy their learning and take delight in new discoveries. Help them to persevere in their studies and give them the desire to learn all things well. Look upon our teachers, let them strive to share their knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to eager minds. Grant that students and teachers alike may follow Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, forever and ever. Amen. And may God's blessing be with them, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. 
Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. <laughs>